Hey guys, how's it going? Nate Dickens here, doing a quick little overview unboxing of the Tokyo Marui LCP compact carry gas gun. Let's check it out. Open it up. You get a nice little pistol. Clean, small. All you really need for uh, backup if you're doing CQB, maybe even field if you're clearing rooms. And you need a little side, extra sidearm. It does come with some BBs. Probably .20 grams. I guess you can shoot them. They're Tokyo Marui, so why not? This is the box the BBs came in. Just sitting right there. I ordered an extra magazine. Ten rounds. Single stack. The pistol has a lot of good trades. Trademarks. You can see they switch it to Tokyo Marui instead of Ruger. Which makes sense. Probably some copyright problem. Cal 380 Auto. Tokyo Marui made in Japan. I took off the orange tip. It's slightly damaged. They over glued it. But, uh, I'll get that glue off someday. So, this is the Ruger LCP, the real steel. This is it compared to the Marui. Pretty close. Really good uh, representation. Only difference is you can tell that this one's got a steel top, not plastic. But for it being all plastic, it's not too bad. It's just a uh, Japanese LCP. That's what that emblem looks like. That's what Tokyo Marui did. All together though, very nice remake. The mags are a little different. This one's almost bigger. Probably to hold the gas. But look at that attention to detail. Ruger's got it. And Marui's got it. If you don't know what a 380 auto looks like, this is a 380 auto. Real. This is a full metal jacket. Pretty sure 95 grain. bullet they weigh almost the same though I'll be honest this probably has more weight to it this is I don't know this actually weighs more but yeah it is non blowback so when you pull the trigger that's all it does. Little pop. Uh, with that, it's very uh, gas efficient. Get about 30 rounds per mag. Magazine drops out freely. That's nice. All in all, I like the little pistol. I want to run it as a uh, backup to my 
stainless steel Marui there. It's under one joule, so there's no minimum engagement distance. And it's just a LOL gun to pull out on someone. The slide lock on the real one is the safety on the airsoft replica. I'll sling it forward for you guys. All in all, I think if you can find it for a hundred bucks shipped, I think it's a great little addition to any collection. Not a lot of people are going to be carrying it. It's a good piece to pull out, and uh, who doesn't like to pull out? Have a good one, guys. This is Nate Dickens. Enjoy the rest of your day.